Responsive sites are fantastic. They are sites that automatically adapt and respond to fit any device. You don't need to create and manage multiple versions of pages anymore. You just need to change the appearance of each page for the device you want to support, in the same way you design pages in Freeway right now. Here's a quick overview of the new features. At the top of the window, you'll see some new tabs that, by default, display common devices and their screen widths. These are commonly known as breakpoints. When you select one, Freeway will show you what visitors will see when they're on that device or when the browser window is narrower than the displayed width. When you first open these breakpoints, you'll see a red area over the right side of your page. This is just to let you know that the page is wider than your breakpoint and that the page width needs to be reduced. So, let's have a quick look at how to make items respond with these breakpoints. I'll start with a simple example of a centered page which has a maximum width of 960 pixels. This makes it grow and shrink with the window, but stops it going wider than 960 pixels. On the page, I have a number of HTML items. I have a header and a footer, which are both set to 100% wide, a left column item with a left inset of 5%, and a right column item with a right inset of 5%. Lastly, I have a graphic item here for my image. All items are created with the CSS layout button on, as the responsive features can't be used with table-based items. When looking at this in the browser and resizing the window, you can see that when the page gets to a certain point, the items with text get a little too narrow. We can fix this by jumping down to the Tablet 768 tab and changing the position of the items. When looking in the browser now, you can see that the items change position when the browser window is narrower than 768 pixels, and then changes back again when it's wider. Let's have another look at what's happening in Freeway. When I select the default tab, we can see what it will look like in the browser when the window is wider than 768 pixels. When I select any of the smaller breakpoints, we can see what's shown when the window is narrower. You can now make images flexible and change their size between breakpoints, but to do so, they must be imported as pass-throughs. Freeway doesn't optimize or allow any cropping of pass-through images. It just passes them straight through to your site folder when you publish so you need to make sure that they're the right size and optimised before importing them. To make a pass-through image flexible, just change the width to fixed percent. You can change the size of the item at different breakpoints just like you would any other item. The width may be undefined when you first import the item, so turn it on by selecting fixed percent in the inspector palette. Leave the height setting as it is so that the image keeps its aspect ratio when resizing. We've also added some responsive features to the CSS menus action that will make your existing menus mobile friendly. With your CSS menu item selected, you'll see the new options at the bottom of the actions palette. You can select when you want the mobile friendly version of your menus to be displayed and a menu icon to display in place of the menu. For this menu, I'll select iPhone landscape and import this image to use as the icon. We'll put the image up alongside our video. I will use the same icon for open and closing the menu, but you can choose a specific close image if you like. Lastly, I'll choose white for the overlay colour. That's all we need to do to set up the menu to be responsive. And finally, you can add your own custom breakpoints. So for example, you can create a breakpoint of 568 pixels, which is the width of an iPhone 5 screen in landscape orientation. To do this, go to the edit menu and click media types. Click add and then select your size and an optional description. Once you've added a new breakpoint, a new tab is added to the tabs at the top of the window. As you can see, these features completely change what can be done in Freeway, and we can't wait to see what you can do with it. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching.